Here comes the boss. Wait till you see what happens now. You found that engine. Inside, inside with him, quick. Come on, you, no hanging back. When we last left Superman, he had arrived in Denver as Clark Kent, news reporter, to investigate a strange and deadly plot against the railroads of the West. He had been able to prevent the Continental Limited from being swept into a canyon by a rock slide. But now the unknown force is directed against the Silver Clipper, crack train of the West Coast Railway. Mysterious messages have warned that the Clipper, due to leave Denver at sundown, will never arrive in Salt Lake City. Morning newspapers have carried Kent's story of the rock slide. And while railroad officials and government men search desperately for clues, Kent himself walks briskly toward the great central station for a conference with the division superintendent. But meanwhile, the plot moves on. In a secret hiding place overlooking the railroad yards, the man called the Wolf talks with his subordinate, Kino. Listen. So, very fine. At last, the unbelieving fools begin to take me seriously. You have read the stories, Kino? I read them. Well, why so sullen? Well, I don't understand it. I tell you, that track was blocked for a hundred feet, and yet five minutes later, the Continental went right on through. Next time, my friend, please to observe more accurately. Obviously, the track was not blocked for a hundred feet. It was not blocked at all. But I tell you, it was. You should join forces with the conductor of the train. He swears that a tremendous figure in blue tights and a red cape appeared from nowhere, replaced the missing rails, cleared away 20 tons of rock, and made a safe passage for the train, all in a matter of minutes. Oh, yes, yes, and uh, <clears throat> he is now confined in the city hospital, that conductor, for observation. Yeah, well, I tell you, I've seen the same thing myself. That will do, my friend. We have no time for pipe dreams. You were deceived by shadows. Now listen, there's work to do. I'm listening. I note that this story is signed by that newspaper man, Clark Kent, the one who was on the train. Well, I told you about him. I should like to be better informed. That fellow seems to know a great deal. How he knows, I have no idea. But he does. Also, I have checked up on him. He was assigned to cover the story back east and seems to have arrived out here incredibly soon. Must have flown. Undoubtedly. But that's neither here nor there. Do you know where he is now? I did what you told me. I trailed him. He left his hotel to go see the divisional superintendent of the railroad. Did he? How lucky. Lucky? We'll kill two birds with one stone. We've got them on the run. They're worried, Kino, and frightened. I hope you're right. They don't know which way to turn or what to believe. They'd like to keep the Silver Clipper in Denver tonight, but they don't dare. They don't dare, Kino. They can't admit they're terrified. And wait till they get my telegram. Telegram? Can you dress up like a messenger, Kino? Huh? Uniform and so on? Oh, sure. Excellent, excellent. You will put on your fake uniform and take this wire, also fake, to the superintendent. Now? At once. If you have luck, you'll find him with Mr. Clark Kent. You will also find, I think, that he is trying to locate a missing engine, Kino. Missing engine? Just so. If he finds it, I'll eat it. Huh? Uh, never mind. Put your uniform on, Kino. Deliver the telegram personally. And bring back as much of the conversation as you can. You understand? Now, now where's that conductor's story? Quite the funniest reading I've seen this week. A Superman, huh? <laughs> Appearing out of the night. Hello. Yes, this is Superintendent speaking. What? Well, trace it again. Trace it from both ends of the line. Ah, oh, nuts. Don't tell me you can't find it. Do you think a locomotive and tender could vanish into thin air? Check every station master and call me back. I'm sorry, Mr. Kemp. Oh, that's that's quite all right. Stupid idiots. 
Look here, we sent a spare engine and tender down the line last night, and now they can't tell me where it is. What? On the main line? Certainly. Uh, never mind. Let's get back to this business, the continent. Any more news of that conductor? No, not so far. Poor fellow's out of his mind. Hmm. What do you suppose he thought he saw? All that business about a Superman. Yes, I only wish to heaven they'd never printed it. Well, I didn't report that, believe me. No, I know. And now look here, Kent. I've checked with your paper back east, and they tell me that it's all right, and that you're here to do what you can. Now, what do you want to know? Well, first of all, have you any idea what's back of this trouble on the railroads? Not the slightest. If you ask me, there's a lunatic at large. Oh, don't you believe it? What else can I believe? It's too senseless, utterly mad. Well, you had warnings. Yes, which we ignored. And we get them all the time from cranks and nuts. But these warnings came true. And so what of it? Do you still think they came from cranks and nuts? All right, Kent. What do you think? I think that one man or a group of men is trying to paralyze the country with fear. Yes, but why? I'm afraid we'll find that out later. Unless we can stop them. Good Lord, we've got to stop them. This can't go on, Kent. Well, we'll do what we can. What do you suggest? I suggest that you don't let the Silver Clipper leave Denver tonight. Oh, Kent, she's got to leave. Can you imagine what reaction would be if she didn't? You're taking a chance. Yeah, I can't help that. She's got to go. Well, then we must work fast. We only have until this evening. Information for this I have one more idea. Yes, what is it? Well, if you read my story carefully, you see that I imply I know more than I printed. Yes, I did notice that. Well, do you? Not yet, but I expect to. How? The people back of this, particularly the man called the Wolf, will want to know just what I do know and where I got it. Well? I propose to show myself around until he catches up with me. Will he? I think so. I was shadowed this morning on my way here. Good Lord. You were? So I think he and his friends are just waiting their chance. And I'm going to give it to them. Oh, Kent, don't do it. Why, if they'd wreck a train, why, they wouldn't think twice about... <laughs> about putting me out of the way? Yes. Don't worry. But why? What's the idea? While they're finding out how much I know, I may be finding out one or two little items about them. Well, I only hope... Here. How long have you been standing there, messenger? Oh, I just come, boss. You the divisional superintendent? Uh, telegram? Yes, sir. Uh, for you personally. They told me to bring it right in. I seen the door was open, well, so I, I woke. hope they found that engine. Well? That's all, messenger. Get out. Uh, yes, sir. No, wait. Hey, where'd you get this wire? Huh? Why, the, the office gave it to me. Said to bring it right over. All right, all right. Go on. Close the door behind you. Listen to this. Yes. Where an engine is now, a train will be tomorrow. The silver clipper will vanish like smoke, never to be seen by the eyes of living men. Well, well, sounds like black magic. I don't believe it. Why, they'd never dare. Oh, they dare, all right. Is that telegram signed? Uh, yes. It's signed the wolf. The wolf? Look here, Mr. Superintendent. Yes. That settles it. Have that wire checked. Find out who sent it and when and from where, if you can. My guess is you'll discover it's faked. I wish we'd held that messenger. Kent, what are you going to do? Just what I said I'd do. Put myself in the hands of the wolf and see who wins. Superintendent speaking. What? What? Why, look here, that's not possible. It can't be. Man alive, think what you're saying. Now, look here, you tell that rude report here in my office. That's right at once. I have got this. I bet I'll find out something. Anything new? Why, it's the silliest thing I ever heard. Wait, a telegram. Where an engine is now. I don't believe it. I don't believe it for a minute. What is it? Kent, that locomotive intended. It passed through Kingston at 11.15. Yes? And it passed through Richville at 11.50. Well? It should have reached Lewisburg at 12.20, just 30 minutes later. And it didn't? It wasn't on time? On time? I had never got there at all. Well, that's easy. It left the rail somewhere in between. Yes, you'd think so. But listen to this. A crew left Richville and a crew left Lewisburg. They met somewhere in between, just now, in broad daylight. And neither crew had seen a sign of that engine anywhere. That's not possible. No. No, it isn't, is it? Black magic. Isn't that what you called it, Kent? 
I think I'm going mad like that conductor. Well, what are you going to do? Do? I'm going out to hunt wolves. Anybody looking? No. Quick. Out of these clothes. Now, that window. Goodbye to Clark Kent temporarily. It's Superman's turn now to find out where those devils are hiding and to listen while they tell me what they know. Up, up, over the yards. Circle around a bit. Ha! Ah, there goes that messenger. Watch him, watch him. I land on that roof. Look down into the street. There he goes. The messenger. Into that house with the broken railing. Now then, I think I've become Clark Kent again. Respectable representative of the Daily Planet. I'll just walk casually down that street and see what happens. Down we go. He'll find out one or two little items about us, huh, Kino? Yeah, that's what he said before they saw me standing there. I think I should like to question that young man on various angles of the so interesting story he wrote for this morning's paper. What are you doing by the window? Hey, hey, down there, down there in the street, look. Huh, what is it? It's him. Walking right up to the house. What? That? Is that Clark Kent? How did he know where to find me? Who told him? I don't know. Hey, don't look at me like How that. How did he know which way to take to get here? He search me, boss. He knows too much. How does he know? Quick, Kino. Downstairs. Hey, boss, what are you going to do with him? There's a vault below us, Kino. Steel lined and soundproof with various... ...his devices to bring out information. You're going to take him there? For a time. For a little conversation, my friend. Stop, stop. Coming. Here, right this way. Hey, wait a minute. Is anyone else in the alley? No, it's empty. Yeah, here he comes. We 
to jump out and grab him, huh? Right. You ready with your blackjack? Now. Hey, where are you going? Quick, quick, you know, let him have it. Here, what's hey, the big hey, idea? Hey, what the... Come on, jump, boss. Inside, inside with him, quick. Come on, you, no hanging back. <laughs> Down the iron stairway, quick, quick, someone may have heard us. Oh, he's... Oh, he's trying to hang back out, fix him. There we are, shove him inside. Now, close the door. Now then, Mr. Clark Kent, the time has come for a little talk. Kino, my friend. You may prepare the aids to conversation. Hey, listen, you. I'm getting tired of this. How about talking? I've already told you. There's nothing I care to talk about. Wise guy, eh? Hey? Okay, we'll see how long you last at this. Open the door, you know. Okay, here comes the boss. Wait till you see what happens now. Well, you know, what luck? No luck at all so far. He ain't doing much talking. He's tough, boss. Still, I was just going to... Let it go, you know. There's no more time. I did want to know where he got his information, but it won't matter. That's what you think, Wolf. That's what I know, my young friend. What do you mean? <laughs> You'd like me to talk, huh? Very well, I don't mind in the least. In a few hours' time, Mr. Clark Kent, the Silver Clipper will leave Denver for Salt Lake. You recall what happened to the locomotive and tender last night? Don't boast, Wolf. You didn't have anything to do with that. They'll find that engine. Possibly. But they haven't found it yet. And let me tell you this, Mr. Kent. They won't find the silver clipper either. Kino. Uh, yeah, boss. We're leaving at once. Yeah, well, what about this guy? He'll stay where he is, permanently. What are you going to do, Wolf? Nothing whatever. We shall leave you just where you are. For all time. Or until someone comes down here and finds you, which may take a month or two. Now, Kino, the persuader. <coughs> Out like a light. <laughs> and when he comes to... When he comes to, we'll be 20 miles on our way to San Joaquin. Hey, wait, boss. He's plenty tough. What if he breaks out? Breaks out? <laughs> Don't be silly, Kino. The walls are solid sheet steel, three inches thick. Then five inches of concrete. Then more steel. If he breaks out of that, I'll put him in the circus. Okay. Reckon he's safe. Come, Kino. Goodbye, Mr. Clark Kent. You'll forgive me if I do not say I hope we meet again. We will meet again, and very soon. Thanks for telling me where. On the road to San Joaquin, eh? Well, I'll give you a little while to get clear of town, and then I'll be seeing you, Wolf. <laughs> Handcuffs, eh? It's a good thing for you I wasn't feeling playful. All right, you know, from now on, things will move. Jump in, boss. Take the lower road to the river. And then up toward the pass. Look, look, you know, the sun's just going down over the railroad yards. Hey, boss, there she is, the silver clipper, just in from Shy. She'll lay over a while and then hit the line for Saw Lake. And we'll be ready and waiting. Let's go. Twenty minutes. That ought to give me time enough to get out of earshot. What was that he said about sheet steel three inches thick? <laughs> You're a liar, Wolf. Two and a half at the most. Look at those walls bend. Well, you might have kept Clark Kent in a vault like this, but not Superman. <laughs> there goes the concrete. And still more steel. Well, I'll just put my foot through that. Now, and that's that. Now, up the stairs. I won't go out in the street. Attract too much attention. 
Just up to the roof for an easy takeoff. Ah, oh, what's this? A skylight. <laughs> and padlocked. Here goes. <sighs> Out into the night and the fresh air. One jump and we're up. Up. And away. Now then, all I have to do is follow his car on the San Joaquin Road. Oh, yes. And a fellow called the Wolf is going to put Clark Kent in the circus. <laughs> Here I come, Wolf. Uh, uh, hey, hey, watch where you're going, will you, boys? Take it easy, Kino. In a moment, we'll be at the crossing of the San Joaquin River. Do you know where that runs? Sure, down through Schooner Canyon Lake to the dam at Wallkill. And do you know how Schooner Canyon got its name? Who cares? Oh, it's interesting, you know. The canyon took its name from an old mining camp, now at the bottom of the lake. I still don't see it why... It was a roaring camp, you know, until they built the dam and turned the canyon into a reservoir. It must have been tough to get to, down in a hole like that. They had a railroad, you know. They broke a tunnel through the canyon wall laid the tracks through the tunnel and down the canyon wall to the camp. Yeah? Ah, now you're beginning to understand. Exactly, Kino. The camp is under a thousand feet of water, but the branch line tracks still lead to the water's edge. Through the tunnel, down the wall. Hey, now listen, you don't think that you well, can... Well, What was that? I didn't hear nothing. It sounded like a rushing of wind. Or wings... High over our heads. Chicken hawk. At night? Well, I don't hear it now, whatever it was. Hey, uh, what about the canyon? Well, Kino, that's where that spare engine went last night. Into the lake? Right into it, Kino. It left the main line after my men had attended to the switch, shut down the grade, roared into the tunnel, and disappeared forever in the waters of Schooner Canyon Lake. Couldn't they stop? No time. And the rails of the branch line were thick with grease. Oh, you can't do it again. It's wholesale murder. What of it? Not losing your nerve, are you, Kino? Look, we're here. Hey, 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 you left the road. Naturally, naturally. We're on the back road above the old junction. Come along, Kino. Well, where are we going? Down the tunnel, just a few yards ahead. I'll show you what's going to happen. What's the matter? Hey, what's that guy doing over there? One of my workmen, I suppose. I have several. Where? I, I don't see him. He dodged off again. Listen, now, I, I don't like this. Someone's sure to catch on. Who? Who? Don't be a fool, Kino. The only outsiders are the two members of the train crew on the engine. They jumped off last night just in time. What, the engineer? Well, where is he? He'll never jump again. Nor will the fire. Well, where are they? Up on the rocks above the tunnel, shackled down. Later, they'll be found lying dead beside the tracks. Sensation, Kino. Imagine the mystery, the terror. Train crew dead on the tracks. No sign of an accident. No sign of the train. Oh, there he is again. Look, look. Be quiet, will you? What are you talking about? I seen it. A long red cape. He was just flying. Kino, you're out of your head. The conductor. That's what the conductor saw, clearing the line for the Continental. The conductor was seeing things, and so are you, Kino. Come along, come along. Here's the tunnel. I... I don't want to go in there. Oh, yes, you do, Kino. I want you to. It's not far, but I want you to see what happens to trains and to people. People? Uh, what do you mean? You're weak, Kino. You see things in the dark. You might be tempted to uh, forget who you're working for. Oh, no, no, never, never. Not, not me, boss. Well, we'll just make sure of that. Keep going, Kino. If I tell you to stop... devil. The cold and human devil. He's given himself away this time. I'll find those two trainmen. They're just the evidence we need. Where are they? Quick. Above the tunnel. Good thing I can see in the dark. 
and through rocks. Ah, there they are. Chained down to die. But they won't die. Not this time. They'll be the witnesses that hang you, wolf. It's all right. It's all right. I won't hurt you. You've got to break those chains. Ah. Now. One under each arm. I'll find a ranch house and drop them at the door. They won't know what's happened. I think they crawl there. And then back to get the police. Up! Up! thousand feet across. And would you like to know how deep? Three hundred feet down to water, and a thousand feet more after that. Yeah. The Lake of Schooner Canyon. Uh, what's the time? The flash of light. 7.15. 7.15. Kino, the Silver Clipper is twenty minutes out of Denver. minutes out of Denver, roaring up the Rockies to the crossing at San Joaquin. The crack streamliner of the West Coast Railroad rushes through the dark at 80 miles an hour, destined for a watery grave at the bottom of Schooner Canyon Lake. Meanwhile, a strange figure hurtles through space, back the way he came. But will he be in time? Can he drop the injured men, warn the authorities, and get back to save the train without revealing who he is? Thrills, suspense, climax... Tune in and follow the story of Superman. Be with us again for the next thrilling installment of Superman. Up in the sky. Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman!